Welcome back to another OMLAB tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at a fun little trick, um, or maybe not a trick, but a technique that a lot of people may have overlooked in a sampler. Uh, we're going to be talking about affecting pitch um, and even, even adding some harmonic qualities uh, to samples without affecting the playback speed. And it's really simple to do uh, with a sampler like Contact. Now, uh, there are a couple different versions of Contact. There's the free version and the paid version. You can do this with the free version. Uh, just head on over to the Native Instruments website and grab it. It's a free download. Um, and you can use this technique with any kind of sound or instrument, any, sim any sample that you can just drop inside a Contact. But specifically today, we're going to be taking a look at spoken words and how we can transform them um, very quickly to add um, some musical potential to it. Um, and, and this is a really powerful trick for uh, production work. All right, so uh, let's just go ahead and grab this. This is just a simple little sample, one word spoken. It's amazing. And when we first drop it into contact, this is going to go ahead and load it up as an instrument. So when we play this word back, amazing. 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 You're going to hear that there is a pitch difference as you go up and down the keys, but there is also a speed change, a playback speed change. So um, let's flip into the backside of Contact and take a look at how to get rid of that. Right here, the source, this DFD, direct from disk, uh, we can change that um, and we can change this to Tone Machine. And this is a very simple way to add some harmonic quality. Now listen to our sample playback. Amazing, 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 amazing. So um, it's got kind of like a, uh, almost like a computerized uh, vocoder kind of a thing going on. Um, if you wanted to, you could quickly add something like a uh, chorus, perhaps. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Becomes much more rich and deep and wide. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. And you can quickly see just what kind of potential uh, this approach has. Okay, so let's uh, cancel out that chorus and we'll switch this from tone machine to a time machine. Amazing, 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 amazing. And you can hear now that the pitch is changing, but not the playback speed. Amazing. 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 And we really haven't had uh, to do anything. It's simply a matter of switching uh, the mode that the sampler is operating in. So uh, keep this as, as a, a, a reference, I guess, uh, for how to quickly modify uh, your samples. And again, this works for any kind of sound, not just spoken words. It's just... Um, easily explained and pretty impressive when you see this potential uh, with just a spoken word. Switch this back to Tone Machine really quick. Amazing, amazing. Let's add back in our chorus. And maybe we'll do a little bit of phasing. Amazing. And just a touch of reverb. Of course, I would go about doing this um, a little bit differently in a normal production. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But this kind of gives you a nice, quick idea of just how quickly we can get this done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, so that's it. Uh, probably one of the quickest tutorials uh, you've seen on this channel yet. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in again soon for another one. Thanks for checking it out. Take care.